Hello, I'm Laura from Foxtech. If you're looking to receive messages on your iPad using your phone number, I'll show you how to set that up quickly. It's a simple process, but there are a couple of key steps to get everything working properly between your iPhone and iPad. First, on your iPad, open the Settings app. Scroll down and tap on Messages. From there, tap on Send and Receive. You'll want to make sure that your Apple ID is signed in, as this is crucial for syncing messages across your devices. Under the section labeled, You can be reached by iMessage at, make sure your phone number is selected. Now, it's important to note that this setup starts on your iPhone. Your phone number needs to be linked to iMessage, which is what allows you to send and receive both iMessages, the blue bubbles, and regular text messages, the green bubbles. So, if your phone number isn't showing up on your iPad, let's head over to your iPhone to fix that. On your iPhone, open Settings, go to Messages, and then tap on Text Message Forwarding. This is where you can set up your iPad as a forwarding device for your SMS messages. Just make sure you enable your iPad in that list. Once that's done, your iPad will be able to receive those green bubble text messages, in addition to iMessages. Also, make sure iMessage is enabled on both your iPhone and iPad. If everything is set up correctly, but your phone number still isn't appearing on your iPad, go ahead and restart both devices. Sometimes a simple restart is all it takes for everything to sync up properly. And there you have it. You should now be able to receive messages on your iPad using your phone number. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you get your iPad and iPhone working together seamlessly. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful tips. See you later.